What's our first topic? Our first topic, ladies and gentlemen, is that Flash Season 9 and Superman Lois Season 3 are officially a go uh, as of... Um, this week, uh, CW start, has started with their renewal prep processes uh, for the next TV season. And I put up a bit of a, um, just to break it down a little bit, so just people know what's been, uh, what's coming back. So Super Flash, Super is coming back for, for season nine. Flash, Super and Lois will be back for season three. Riverdale uh, is back for season seven. <laughs> Um, All American has been renewed for season five. Love that. Great. Because uh, that show is doing really well for the CW. Uh, Kung Fu, which just came back. It's just premiered its new season in Jordan, and it's already been renewed, which is great. Uh, I, actually I, watched, I actually watched the pilot of the show. Just, I watched the pilot two days ago. I'm on episode five right now, and it's like it's a really good show. Uh, Nancy Drew, which finished a couple of months ago, uh, it's been renewed for season four. And Walker uh, is back for season three. Now, what has not been renewed yet? So, and Jordan, behave. <laughs> I'm going to behave. behave. Be so uh, Batwoman uh, has not. Uh, Batwoman is still waiting with uh, with um, season three having finished on March second. Let's tomorrow behave. Season seven has um, se season seven finished on March second as well. The forty four hundred uh, the new reboot that came and uh, finished on February fourteenth. Naomi season one has five episodes left to air, so it's you know it's. It's, we're getting ready now to wrap up the first season. Uh, Legacies it has less than 10 episodes to air. All America, it's too early to tell because they just premiered in February. Uh, Charmed just came back this month for its new season. Dynasty just came back uh, with its latest season uh, for episode three now in Mars. Uh, Stargirl, another Arrowverse adjacent show. Uh, it has not yet, it hasn't premiered season three yet, so we're not going to hear about season four for quite some time. In the Dark, which I'm like, Who's watching in the dark? <laughs> who's watching in the dark? Honest to God, like who's watching into the dark? And uh, so it has it hasn't premiered season four yet. And Roswell, New Mexico, the reboot, um, has yet to premiere season four. So a lot of shows that um and we have pilot orders. For, we have pilot, for. yeah, because, exactly. So we, this is what's important to remember because not only do we have a network that is possibly being <laughs> sold. <laughs> uh, I will I will happily pay a dollar for for it. Uh, maybe one fifty. <laughs> and so, uh, they not only do they have to deal with and seeing like what they can, how many shows they're actually going to bring back, but they're all dealing with new shows. Uh, Gotham Knights, nice, which uh, is uh, getting ready to start filming uh, in Toronto uh, next month. Uh, the Winchesters, which just they just got their. Um, Mary and John, as of this week, and uh, Walker Independence, the, the Walker Wars, the Walker Wars. That's that's a pfft, mouthful, um, it, it it that's you know that's also being in the works. That, that's where Kat McNamara, who plays Mia Queen, she's gonna be she's gonna be leading that show. And then Zorro, and um, it's a female reimagination of the show. It's uh, it has a six script order, which means that they definitely they definitely want to get there, um. You're saying they're definitely going to push that. I think they're going to push that for sure because, like, I like it's rare when something like gets a six script order like that. I mean, they probably just want to see like what the show is going to be like, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so that's what's going on. And then just to bring up, um, I'm not going to go for every show, but Bad, the reason Bad Woman Little Tomorrow had not been renewed is because they're on the bubble, which means that they could. Mm. It's, there's, a, there's a possibility it can get renewed, but also there's a possibility that one of, that they, they could either of them could get canceled. Yeah. Uh, Naomi could, as of right now, could go either way. I do think it's that one is a little more safer for season two because it has Ava DuVernay attached. Also, it's a newer show, so I think they're likely gonna want to, you know, continue with that. Um, but uh, yeah, I and also just for Flash and Nigel, so everyone knows. Um, they, they have not clarified, CW has not clarified at this point if this nine season is going to be the show's final one. And if either an announcement will come um, right before or at the CW upfront, which is taking place on Mar May 9th, ni May 19th, in person for the first time since um, tw 2019. Yes. So. Um, so yeah, so there's no like whatever you're listening to online, and don't don't listen, don't f with me when it comes to rumors, because I will drag them. You know, you saw my tweet, you know my tweet. So uh, I want to start with Jordan. Jordan, 
Are you excited? How are you feeling about all that? Behave about legends. Okay, I'll pull the graphic up in one second. I do want to mention a couple of things, but uh, first, I want to thank Jennifer for the super chat. Thank you so much for supporting the show and supporting the channel. Um, just on the surface, I'm gonna wait, pull. Wait, wait, what's the question? Oh, there's no question to that. It's just you should have sent five dollars. So oh. thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the graphic back up because definitely there's a couple things I want to point out. So first things first. Flash season nine, Superman and Lois season three, that is a no-brainer. We had heard that Grant was signing on for a season nine. Like he had signed on for a one-year extension off his contract. So it makes sense. Superman and Lois, of course, is crushing it in terms of uh, viewership and people still talking about the show. It makes sense. Riverdale, they're just milking that because there's a there's a fan base that follows the craziness. All American, I remember when that show first premiered. And it's crazy now. It's it's got a season. It's getting season five. Like it's kind of crazy. Like I've been I've seen the commercial for it. I've never seen it, but it's a it's crazy to see how far that show's come after thinking it just premiered. <laughs> but no, it's been a couple years. Um, in terms of yet to be renewed, and like I said, I, I saw the premiere of uh, the pilot of Kung Fu uh, like a couple days ago. Mm. Um, in terms of yet to be renewed, I think Batwoman is probably most likely out of all of them. In terms of shows that just recently finished, I feel like Batwoman um, is definitely getting more attention now. I think people are starting to see, like, even though I have not caught up on the show, I'm seeing a lot more people talk about it. Hater, I'm a hater. Hater. It's more of like people are talking more positively and saying season three has been the best season of Batwoman. So yes. if that's the case for a lot of people, they should continue it. Um, and I'm not going to speak on Legends of Tomorrow. You know my stance on that. Now, in terms of star girl and in in the dark and rosal like they have yet to premiere their new season so it makes no sense to renew them unless they have confidence that they'll continue to be good i think star girl did dip in a uh, viewership and i think people did drop off star girl during season two i don't think they people should have because star girl was kicking ass in my opinion i love, I, love star girl. I still think season one was overall better than season two but i still enjoyed the hell out of season two um and with the with the pilot orders, like with them ordering six scripts for Zorro, they're really going to push that. And with Walker Independence, with um, Cat McManera, they're really going to push that show, and that's probably going to get picked up. Um, Gotham Knights, we'll see, because we have a topic in terms of uh, later on with Harvey Dent, Two Face, but it's interesting. I think I think it pretty much shows that the CW has confidence in certain things, and other things they're kind of like a wait and see, like because they're probably looking at the stuff that's already been greenlit for pilots. And they're probably going to see, okay, they're probably going to wait to see footage coming in and kind of assessing how we're going to handle the next cycle of our schedules because they can't renew every show that has been airing now, plus all the pilots that they have greenlit in terms of these shows that they're trying to become a show. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do. More likely, they're probably going to ax some shows that probably didn't do so well or have been going for a couple seasons and then bring in Zorro, Walker, whatever, Independence, whatever it is, Gotham Knights. They'll probably give Gotham Knights a, probably a season if they're going to, because it seems like they're trying to push that. They're trying to get, they're putting out a lot of information about it. They're, of course, casting an alumni from Supernatural. I feel like they're probably going to try hard at least to get that show on the air, in my opinion, just based on how they're going about it. Mm -hmm. um, but how do you feel about it overall in terms of, the over stuff and also just how the CW is handling it. Cause we have, we have been talking off, yeah. you know, off camera and stuff that <laughs> me, me calling you yelling, you being like, Jordan, Jordan, where yeah. are you? Where? And but, it's like, well, well, what is happening? And like, you need to stop calling me like this. <laughs> but like what the thing is too, it's like, we had discussed that the CW, you know, past couple of years have been announcing their renewals, like, like way sooner than they have this time. And do you think that was due to them maybe not 100% sure on certain things? Because I also noticed when CW announces renewals, they wait till they get a lock on multiple shows to then drop a huge a mass amount. It's not like other networks where they announce a renewal like with a couple others or one at a time. They CW likes to announce a lot at once. Yeah. Do you think they were just trying to lock all that in? Or do you think they were just kind of holding off because of the sell potential? I think the, I think it was a sales thing that was holding them back a little bit. I think with them, um, with them, um, you know, because you know, I mean, some of these shows like they, you know, because of their IPs, they have bigger value than others. You know, honestly, I mean, that's just you know. But how do you feel about a show, whatever? So that's just the way it is, you know. And like all, like for example, something like All American has apparently been like one of the most 
viewed shows streaming wise wise like on the CW website on through Netflix stuff like that so you know which is you know great you know I, it's a you know I know it's a uh, it's a great show you know especially you know like you know a black you know show with a lot of black uh, characters you know so and that they're now spinning off into its own universe so that's great um i think when it i mean flash is human low was like, i think it was always like that's was always gonna happen um but i think that i think that when it comes to the other shows that right now we don't know anything about it's the fact that yeah like if they're if you're about to sell your network and it's an, a new owner is going to come in they may not look at the, the, those shows the same way that the previous leadership did, where like I'm not saying that Mark Pettit was his disappearing or so, but like if they're having a new owner, they may just say, you know what, Legends, Batwoman, they're just not doing it for us. Why are we wasting money on this? Mm-hmm. So, and you know, because at the end of the day, side so guy that like, this is Hollywood. This is Hollywood. Hollywood is all about money, and so you know, whether we think something should get a season or whatever and so on, at the end of the day, like. If it's not making profit for them, they're just not going to do. It. And I think that with something like Legends that is now like it's starting to show its age, you know, I, I think Batman will be likely to come back because I think now, especially now that Jimmy Jones has had a, a like a full season able to like really, you know, because last season two was a little bit of a damage control because of Ruby Rose, but now like this season, like I love season three. I, like I strongly recommend everyone who has a season three. Go watch season three. It is, you know, some. It's, you know, it has a. It does remind me a little bit of Gotham, honestly. Like you're taking the map and mythology and kind of embracing, you know, the darker and wacky stuff of it because you know, look at some of the characters they have. Yeah. Um, you know, Stargirl. I think like yeah, it did dip a little bit, but I, I think as far as a summer show goes, it did really well for them. So I, th- I feel. If it maintains that kind of audience throughout uh, season three, I'm sure we could get season four. And also, it's it's appealing to the demographics you're looking for because as people who may not realize it, as much as this sh- that these shows that we watch now are focused towards young adults, you know, the or their fanboys, or you know, fangirls, and so on. The CW started out as a network for teen, you know, that was mostly going after the teenage girl demographic. You know, that's why we had shows like Nine Two One Zero. Gossip Girl, <laughs> and uh, you know Melrose Place and things like that. So, um, but um, yeah, and I, and I think honestly, and like I said with Naomi, I feel I feel confident that we're gonna get another season because I think now like they're starting to they're starting to go more into the DC root of things, and I think that uh, and especially you know since we after losing Black, it would it's gonna look very bad on them if they get rid of Boba Bad Woman and Naomi to Black DC female superhero shows so um and, and i see some people are talking about naomi and like again like just i would say after next week's episode that's coming up because then it, they're going on a break again with Superman lois for a couple of weeks binge watch the, the, those first ne- eight nine episodes and like you know because i think one thing that's maybe holding Naomi back is it is more like a binging show as opposed to you know like because you know once you see like all chapters together like, you can like oh I see. I see the red thread that's going through here now. So, yeah. yeah it's, All right. Um, and I also want to address something. Some people were saying that you know, don't forget about uh, Justice You. Uh, now, here's the thing. There's a difference between something getting a pilot order and something being in development stages. And Justice You does not have a pilot order. Nope. So it is. It's uh, still being. And, and more than likely, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm actually kind of worried for it. We have not heard any movement on it. Um, that's kind of that. I, that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen in terms of a pilot. But I have a feeling it's not going to happen. Um, but I don't know. Crazier things have happened. I just think back on Granero and the Canaries. <laughs> that all went down. Wonder Wonder Girl. Exactly. Painkiller. Exactly. Um, 